Guy Sports with Mark Yates, Cheltenham Town Manager. Mark, that's really a tough one to take, really. Disappointing. Um, and we've got to start again. I, I, I could rant and rave, and I'm, you know, and listen, I'm not going to. They know how disappointed I am, they know uh, that we weren't anywhere near good enough. So credit to Atkinson, but we were we were massively on the bar today. And um, a nice little wake up call for us after three games. Um, and like I say, credit to them, but, but we've got a lot to do. So out of country. Yeah, you know, maybe I got my team wrong. You know, I'll listen, I, I'm, I'll take the blame. It's my fault, I picked the wrong team. Um, the players who I put in there didn't, didn't do it. Um, so, you know, the manager takes the flak, but he's um, back on the training grounds quickly and uh, we'll be having to put that on. Didn't help with the goals so no. early in each half. We started really well. We started really well for five or six minutes and then find ourselves one down. They, listen, they, you know, they came to pass, they came to press and harry and chase and, and they did everything better than us today. They, you know, we, we had probably more chances, but they, they finished them better than we did as well. So, bad day. We go again. Might have been different had that effort gone in in the first half from McLaughlin. And it was there was lots. I thought there were lots of chances. The keepers made a few good saves, um, but yeah, we were we were outplayed completely. And um, credit to them. Mike, what, what was you think? Of, easy to say now, but obviously you've admitted you got the team wrong. What was your thinking behind? Why, why did you change the formation? I wanted to get certain players on the pitch that I wanted us to press. I, you know, I wanted us to create chances. I wanted to give Sean and, and Zebs a chance to put a partnership together up front. It didn't work, so well, it didn't work today. You know, We'll be back on the training ground, we'll work at various things. Um, it could so easily, it sounds stupid, it could so easily have been different, but you know, we didn't take our chances. Um, when you're 3-0 up after 46 minutes, when um, we talked about a, a big effort to make sure that we we kept pushing and pushing, but make sure we kept the door shut. We, you know, we're, we're on the attack. We lose control of the ball on a penalty spot. It's three passes later, two ricochets on our part, and, and, a, and a stupid goal. We, we did, we did the basics wrong today, um, and we'll, we got to go again. Yeah, if it is a wake-up call, is that the, the one positive thing that you? Can yeah, do? yeah. Listen, I, I'm gutted. I'm, you know, gutted for the supporters. I, I apologise to them for. For, for for the way we played, um, but rest assured we'll be back on the track. Listen, we're four games in, still still loads to do, loads of bedding in to do for the new players. But but today was today wasn't good enough. Yeah, you did say you expected them to be strong this season. Listen, good I'm, today, didn't they? I described it in the week on Thursday. A bunch of mates who who get together and they work and scrap and fight and play for each other, and, and they did that today. And they did that damn sight better than we did. Yeah. Any positives performance-wise? No. Not, no. I think anyone made a no. valuable contribution. No. no. But at least you got you could look at the bench today. It's probably one of the strongest benches I've ever seen at Shelton. We got a reserve game on Tuesday, and you know it's up to them to now put in a performance that, that warrants getting in the team. You know there will be changes next week, without a doubt. Um, you know we can't accept performance like that. That said, you know, I'm not. I'm disappointed today. I'm disappointed in the performance, but they're my players and. I know they'll be a damn sight better than that yeah. next week. Do you think Darren Carter is almost ready to start a game? Or is well, he you'll play on Tuesday, I think he needs a game. Um, you'll play Tuesday and then we'll see where we're after that. Yeah, and Mo, how, how's his ankle coming off? Is he alright? Yeah, just... I thought we did alright. Um, I'm lucky with a couple of efforts. Like I say, it could have been a... We've, we've conceded three really bad goals on our part. Um, could have had... That's probably the most chance we've created in the game this season. So, you know, that's, that's a positive if you like, John. But... We, we didn't do we didn't do enough today to get anything out of the game. Yeah, do you think the, the fight was there? It was just the the, the, the sloppy mistakes. Yeah, the goals, sloppy mistakes, it? sloppy all over the pitch. You know, uh, players making decisions that were not to stand there today, and um, you know we've we've ended up getting beat comprehensively. Yeah, and just finally, what you, you said you want them to be able to play every different formation, but yeah. you, it obviously didn't look as good today with four yeah. four two. Yeah, exactly. You know, listen, you know, I'm not kidding myself. I'm, I know that he didn't. He didn't quite go to plan today. After goal, after six minutes, didn't help. So back to the drawing board, and you know, we go again. We'll be better and better and better and stronger for today's defeat. And um, I'm looking forward to getting back on the training ground. Yeah. Cheers.